Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino, Thursday, January 4th, 2024, and this is my pre-market report. Let's start off with this. If you recall, last year, we heard that there were going to be, and we covered this right here on this blog, um, massive corporate layoffs moving into 2024. Well, we're here now, and we're starting to hear from corporations who are going to start laying people off in waves so you have to understand what you're seeing here nobody is safe i'm telling you right now that the situation continues to get worse and it's going to get a lot worse just as you and i have discussed for i don't know how freaking long here but again you're going to get the nonsensical deceptions and distractions these things, like for example, waves of corporate layoffs, which are starting now, Xerox is laying off 15% of its workforce right now, uh, and this is going to be the theme moving forward. You have to understand the other, other piece of this. Why is this going on? Not only, not only is the global economy cratering at its fastest pace that we've ever seen. This is deliberate. This is central banks dismantling the current system creating a neo-feudal system. We've covered this at length over and over and over and over again. Why is it? Let, let's think for a moment. Why would corporations be laying off thousands and thousands and thousands of people? Well, to protect their bottom line, especially the bottom line of the fat cats, you know, the, the, the corporate insiders, the, the management, the CEOs, because it boosts their bottom line. It goes right into or plays right into what I've been saying is going to be uh, the theme for, for, for this year, uh, and that is this market is going much higher as long as they can keep rates suppressed. And how, look, I want to hear from you on this. How many of you don't believe that central banks collectively, none more so than the Federal Reserve, is going to do all it can to keep rates suppressed, buy more debt, buy more assets. How many of you believe that that's not going to happen? Exactly. Uh, most of you, probably all of you, believe that is going to happen because that's exactly what will take place place here. Central banks are not done. They're buying it all. They're going to continue to buy it all. They're going to continue to suppress rates here, keeping that doorway open for cash to make its way into the stock market. This is my opinion, okay? You're entitled to your own, but if you do not believe that this is going to happen, outline for me or try to explain to me why I am wrong. I am not too old to learn something new. You understand? But in my view, all the stuff I look at, all the stuff I study, understanding what the big picture is here. What do central banks want to do? People, we've covered this at length. They want to own it all. They want to buy it all. They want to be the lender and buyers of last resort. Well, that's exactly, in my view, what is going to take place to the highest order in 2024. And that and you can expect things to, to be thrown at us that you, you can't even believe here. Reasons to spend money on this and reasons to spend more cash on this, but we will not have enough cash to fund the government, which is an amazing situation, don't you think so? Again, we're facing another government shutdown in about two weeks right now. Have you heard anything? Have you heard uh, from the mainstream propaganda that, that our, our loving, caring policymakers are working diligently to prevent this from happening? No, because they can't, they, we can't have a budget. They have to continue to spend and spend and spend, and they're going to kick the can down the road like they always do. Anyway, here, so, so you can expect, again, t if there's one takeaway from this video, uh, we were warned, we have been warned, and now we're here. Waves, waves of corporate layoffs are going to come. Uh, and of course, this is going to be positive for those corporations. They're going to start laying people off uh, as this two-tier society, uh, extreme two-tier society, uh, extreme haves, extreme have-nots, um, begins to manifest itself to a much larger degree in 2024 people but look if you understand if we understand this situation we know where this is going do you realize the power that that gives us here for those of you out here um 
Look, most of you get it who, who follow this blog. You got to get unbanked. You got to disconnect yourself from their system as much as humanly possible, at least in my view. Again, you're entitled to your own. You want to be in their system? That's great. You want to grease the wheels of their system? That's fine too. I understand that we all must participate in their system to, to a certain degree. Because again, we have our policymakers that want us to transact only in Federal Reserve notes. You can't hold gold, you can't hold silver, you definitely can't hold cryptocurrencies. So you must empower their system here. Um, but that, you know, look, we need to um, do all we can to at least try to sidestep this. But, we, but again, we do have to play the game. And if we understand what they're trying to do, again, what does that do? It gives us power to um, take the right steps to at least allow the system to benefit us not benefit them the whole system is rigged against you you know that upside down backwards and sideways but that does not mean that you and i can't look for opportunities to take their system turn the tables on it okay and then profit from it period that's what i'm looking to do and i think most of you out here who follow this blog are looking to do the same thing and this you look the situation remains what it is. The game remains risk on, period. And that means cash is going to make its way into the stock market, people. Yes, we're seeing a little bit of a pullback here right now. We are. This has been a long time coming. Uh, the, it, it's kind of interesting what we're seeing here in the debt market. I know most of you out here are following the 10-year yield or at least watching the MMRI, Manorino Market Risk Indicator, hovering around 250. I think we're going much lower. In fact, I am certain of that. Um, the market's got to find a new footing here, moving into 24. Corporate layoffs are going to be a big part of this driver for the market uh, going higher, period. People are going to be forced to become more dependent on the system. This is a plan. You know that. Um, looking for government assistance. You know who the government is. It's actually the Federal Reserve, period, the end. And so understanding the mechanism, again, realizing that global debt is going to balloon faster than we've ever seen before, realizing that the economy, and we're going to get some economic news in about 15 minutes. It's 8.15 a.m. from the time I am doing this video blog right now. At 8.30, we're going to hear uh, initial jobless claims. What did we find out yesterday? Job openings are now at a 32-month low. Manufacturing, we just we just found out about that. Again, remains in contraction for 14 consecutive months. The economy is cratering, as it's meant to do. This is how it's meant to play out here. Who runs the economy? Tell Greg Manorino again. Who runs the economy? Who runs the financial system? Who runs the financial markets? It's the Federal Reserve. It's not our policymakers. Uh, you know, who, who, who don't know their rear end from or anything else here. They can't get anything right because, again, what are they doing? They're on a mission to deceive you on a grand scale because they realize the game. They know that the Federal Reserve is the real government. They have to play into that, and they have to lie to you. They have to put on a big show for you, all right? Your votes, oh, get out there and vote. I personally do not believe they count, okay? You're entitled to your own opinion on this. I know a lot of people... Believe that they do, and I think that's fantastic. You can believe whatever you freaking want to. All right, uh, I sincerely believe that if we, if our votes counted, we wouldn't be allowed to vote. The system is set up that way now. Maybe at one point it did matter. I don't think it matters anymore. All right, um, period. The freaking end. But that's just me. So looking back on the, this market, stock futures are flat. Everything is flat this morning. Stock futures are flat. Uh, Gold and silver, a, sl a slight bid here. They're catching a slight bid. The 10-year yield, slightly higher, but I think it's going much, much lower. I think we're going to get a sub 3.9 very, very soon um, with regard to the 10-year yield. The relative strength of the dollar this morning, again, relatively flat. Uh, gold and silver, as I said, not doing too much. Crude oil catching a bid. Crude oil needs a catalyst here. All right, we've been in a bottoming phase for a very long time with regard to, to crude oil. I've covered this at length. Uh, some kind of a catalyst has to get underneath this to, to start pushing it up. And the, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when here. Commodities, you know my take on this. Um, I don't know another way to put it. Anyway, so, so, so that's, that's the theme here. Massive corporate layoffs coming. 
A lot more people, unfortunately, becoming slaves to the system, dependent on the system as it's designed to do. So just just uh, keep 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 that at your, the forefront of your mind, understanding where this is all going, and you get it. But again, it's opportunity, people. Look, we could look at this from any a lot of different perspectives, as it's really shitty, and it really is for the people, unfortunately. But that's the way. That's what's going on. So how do we make it work for us? We don't change our, our, our strategy. We continue to bet against the debt. We continue to become our own central banks. Um, holding hard assets. Silver, my favorite asset of all time. You all know that. Massively suppressed prices right now. In my view, that's why we need to hoard it. Um, you know, Staying long this market, period. That's, uh, that's something else I think we need to do as well. Exposure to commodities. How, I, all the stuff that we've covered repeatedly. If you think I'm wrong, that's fine. Tell me why. Okay, because like I said, I'm not too old to learn a new trick. All right. This guy here loves you a lot from the heart. I mean that. Please get the video out there. Please comment. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up. It lets the algorithms pick it up. It gets shared, and I appreciate that. And I'll see all of you live, 4.05 p.m. Eastern time, and we'll cover the initial jobless claims and everything else later on. All right? I'll talk to you later.